let us take the same quicksort algorithm with the different uh, uh, array values. Okay. Now, this let us consider this is the unsorted array. This we are going to use the quicksort algorithm in order to sort this. So, according to our algorithm, initially, this will be the you know, first we are uh, going to apply the partition algorithm. We are going to use the pivot element. So, pivot element is here how we are taking this end of the uh, array value is taken as a pivot. So, here end is here starting is the 0th index 0 and here 10 elements are there 0 to 9. So, starting is 0 and end is 9. Index is 9. Then P index. P index initially that is also made to point to the start. So, initially both will be same. Then pivot. The last value we are taking it as the end value is we are taking it as the pivot element. Now, after the partition, you will find that 6 find its correct question. So, initially this we have taken. Now, we in the for loop, first i will be 0. Then we are checking that very other array of 0. That is, this is less than 6. If less than that, then we swap with the p index. But it is not less than. This is bigger than bigger than the pivot. So, we move to the next uh, index of the for loop. So, now array of 1. Here again this is greater. So, next i, array of 2. Now, if you see that this is smaller than the pivot element. So, uh, what we do is we swap array of 2. That is this with the p index. p index is this. Only i is incremented. p index initially is 0. So, this and this we swap. So, what happened after that? The 5 is pushing, finding its position 7 and 9. So, if you see 5 and 9 gets changed. Then, uh, so next P index, uh, since we have gone inside the uh, algorithm. Yes, what happened here? We increment the index by 1. If we will go inside swap, then only we increment the index by 1. So, here p index is 1. Initially, it was 0. So, and we swap the those two values. Now, index is increment, p index is incremented to 1. And then, now i is 3. For look, still it is not over. Because we have to execute it till n minus 1, till 8. So, here array of 3, we are checking whether array of 3 is greater than, it is greater than, so no swapping. And this is also greater than pivot, no swapping. But when it comes here, array of 5, it is small, smaller than the pivot element. So, now this has to be swapped with the p index value. Now, p index is what? 1, 7. So, 2, 1, 7 gets interchange. So, if you see that, see, these two values, these two values get interchange. Now, you have to execute with this element. So, these two values are executed. After that, the array looks like that. Now, index is incremented. Now, previously it was 1, p index. Now, it is incremented to p2. That is 2, sorry, array 2. Then, i is 6 now. Now, still for loop is executing. So, 6, it is greater than the pivot element. So, no swapping. 6 is greater than pivot. Then, here 3. When it comes array of 7, it is lesser value. So, now what happened? We have to interchange that value with the p index. So, now what is p index? It is pointing 9. So, that and s3 gets inter it is swapped. And then index value, p index value is incremented. It is 3. Then i i becomes now 8. So, with this it will be for loop will be over. i equal to 8 is also when I say 8, it is greater than 6. So, no swapping. So, now finally it comes out of the for loop. When it comes out of the for loop, there is a final uh, There is that we have to swap the uh, array end with the p index. Now, the p index what we have found is 3. So, with that we are swapping. So, here 6 is swapped with the index. Now, 0, 1, 2, 3. This is the index. So, that what we do is we swap the last element that is this with this with, between these two we swap so now if you see that after execution the six has found its correct place now with p index now we have we have it is over uh, now we have to 
find we found the p index correct place and we are going to uh, pass this value to the quick sort so we have to split the array so how we split the array like this so p index minus 1 and p index plus 1 so uh, this is the pivot element before that uh, what the array subarray this will be the subarray here this will be the subarray after this so only these indexes will be passed for the quick sort so array of 0 comma 2 0 1 2 so those values and then array of 4 because 3 we are uh, we are skipping this so 4 p index plus 1 means it is 4 4 to 9 so now let us take quick sort algorithm array of 0 comma 2 let us take the first one and for this uh, we find so these are all the values so first start is equal to 0 and p index is also because we start the algorithm again so index will be assigned to the start value so here already it is 0 so then n value is nothing but this 0 1 2 so this is that and then pivot is 3 that was uh, returned by the previous uh, algorithm so now array of 0 uh, that is uh, not written by the previous algorithm the last value we are going to take it as a pivot three. sorry which is not index it is the value so the last value in this sub array will be taken as a pivot now we are checking the first value first it is greater so it will not go inside that uh, if class then next value this this is smaller now there has to be a exchange so now i is here and p index is here so these two values will be getting exchanged and now p index because of that we increment the p index now anyway the for loop is over because n minus 1 here 1 2 3 only 2 so up to 1 this value only it will do now so and for loop come uh, after the for loop there is a swap statement where array n and array p index both are uh, swapped so which means p index is uh, this is a p index and this is array. These two values are getting swapped according to our algorithm. Now, p index is still it is 1. With p index, the quick sort algorithm will be called as p index equal to 1. So, when it calls again, what happens? p index minus 1 from starting from 0, it is minus 1, it is 0. Then the next value that is for this, this again further we are dividing. Uh, so 2 comma 2 because index is 1 so 1 plus 1 it is 2 the last value is 2 so here also recursive call ends because it has only one element 2 comma 2 this also it has only element so both are not valid and the partition ends for this this uh, recursive call is over now this will be taken 4 comma 9 so let us see after the array of 0 comma 2 the array looks like this this first half this will be in a sorted way. Now we are going to take these values. So here now the quick start start from 4 to 9. Now the partition starts for array of 4 comma 9. So here again we start. This is the last value. This will be taken as a pivot value. Now this is the starting which is nothing but index is 4. P index is also 4 because initially both start and P index start point to the first value. Then end equal to 9. So here um, end is this is the nine index it is the index so all these things are index only okay only pivot is pointing to the value so 11 that is n value so now the follow start array of four here it is not less than so if class is skipped next array of five here seven seven is less than this so now there will be swapping between this and the p index p index is pointing this so seven and twelve get exchange swapped and the index is incremented p index is incremented to the next one which is nothing but 5 so now array index is 5 which is pointing to this value then array of 6 now we do that here uh, it is greater so if class will not get executed then 9 9 is smaller than this so now now what happened we are going to exchange between this and this so here what we do is 9 and 12 or get swapped and then index is incremented to 6 p index is incremented to 6 since it goes inside the if loop the if uh, condition then array of 8 now well, where is our already it is array 7 has reached now array 8 array 8 with this 
the for loop will be over because n minus 1 so here 10 so 10 is less than the 11 so what happened again there is a swap takes place between uh, 6 index of 6 and this so it is a 4 5 6 now 14 is pointing so here there is a exchange that is swap these two values are swapped then index is now since uh, it has gone inside index has now become 7 and the for loop is over and when it comes after the for loop there is a swap again that is end value is uh, p index is 7 so with that uh, the values are swapped uh, 4 5 6 7 so 12 between 12 and 11 they are uh, they get swapped so here oh, those two get that then with p index the quick sort algorithm will be calculated as p index of 7 now here 7 so what happened the 4 this again is splitted that is the uh, this 4 to 9 will be again splitted as 4 to 6 7 minus 1 and 8 that is 7 plus 1 8 to 9 now let us take a quick sort array of 4 comma 6 and the partition for this starts so what is the value 7 9 10 so these are all the values so starting is 4 and ending is 6 and uh, pivot is 10 uh, okay then uh, p index is also 4 because both pointing to the first element then array of 4 it is less than the pivot this is the pivot it is less than the pivot so now what happens array of 4 and array of p now. array of 4 is also this p index is also there so uh, there is no change even if swap there is nothing it is the same then p index is moved since it goes inside index gets incremented now it is also a of i is also the 5 i is also 5 and p index is also 5 again the same thing it is less than p word but still there would be uh, even if swap occurs it doesn't uh, give any uh, significant difference so then p index since it has go inside index becomes 6 finally so swap the uh, here again the same thing that is no because index is all the same and is also the same so there is no change so 7 9 10 since they are all already in a sorted order now the next one is quick sort of 4 comma 5 and quick sort of 4 comma 6 for this for this it takes place 4 comma 5 and quick sort of 6 comma 6 here when you take there is uh, here the next one is array of 8 comma 9 when you take this 8 and 9 you have this and this two values so now quick sort apply this will be the pivot element so here when you see that this is smaller this is greater than this so uh, but by the time it exudes for loop exudes only one time because start is also 8 p index is also 8 n is 9 so for loop exudes 9 minus 1 that is 8 and only one time in that case it checks in the uh, if class this is greater so uh, for loop ends so the next out when it comes out uh, after the for loop that is a swap statement where array end and array p index are exchanged this is the p index and this is the array end so those two get exchanged okay so now with p index the quick sort algorithm will be called as p index equal to 8 so here 8 comma 7 because 8 minus 1 7 and this is an invalid index and next one is 9 comma 9, 8 plus 1 9 comma 9 so here only one element so with this it stops so finally when we arrange we get the value 